Hello, so um, I just got an email from my good friend, Ian. Ian, I can't, oh, je ne peux pas prononcer ça, ça non, mais he wants to make a little macro that just multiplies things by a thousand, I think, and uh, I'm going to respond to him, but I thought, what the hell, I'll make a, heck, heck, I'm not going to swear anymore. I'm not going to swear anymore on my video. So, uh, uh, so if we have 100, uh, and then let's, how about, let's do this. Alt EIS. Let's make a step value of 20 and go to 500. Okay. Oops. I don't know what happened there. Whatever. Now, if you want to multiply these by a thousand, an easy way to do it is to press shift control c and then alt e s and multiply okay that's one way to do it now uh, why don't we uh, undo that and we could also i suppose look i have a my, my new uh oh shit. okay uh, shift control m so I've got to, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, the the uh, um, let's make a uh, macro that does that. So the next thing to do is go to uh, let's go to view and macros and record a macro and uh, we can just uh, copy this and select the. Uh, um, okay, and let's stop recording the macro, and let's look at it. So that macro uh, here, <sighs> okay, now, well, so we could have some kind of selection, we could put this as a range name, and then put the copy in, and then select that but i don't think that's a good way to do it so here uh let's try this again let, let let's say i want to do it a, another way now all i'm going to do is take this selection and multiply it by 100 so the easiest way to do it i think would be to uh, make it go to uh, make a macro and then we'll put copy 1000 for sub and then and this is really now i what he did is he forced me to make this uh, uh waterfall chart which i think is one of the most important things i've got about two hits on that and i don't think anybody's really downloaded it and they that you download these big massive spreadsheets that thing is for me really important so um uh we just put selection uh range oh shit yes you know what i'm gonna have to do god damn i'm gonna have to go and and find it so if we go into courses oops and macros and excel utilities and we go down to the one called uh, waterfall final okay and we look at this assign the macro edit to select range and selection so we just put selection I think we just put selection equals selection times a thousand. Is it that easy? Maybe I'll have to uh, get rid of this uh, thing. So, okay, let's try this. So let's just go to, once we have this, we'll go to a macro and, uh, oh, 
how do I run the macros from here? <laughs> this sucks. Uh, and okay, that's all it is. So now let's we can't undo it. Oops. Okay, so let's put our 100 back. And now let's go to maybe we go to developer uh, and run this macro. Hmm. Didn't work. Shit. Uh, just a minute, of course. Okay, I, uh, this was a little tiny bit harder than I thought. Um, so, it was a good exercise, though. Maybe it's a better exercise. So, uh, I and he, I probably pronounced, I'm sorry about the name. The, the first thing you should, you can just select an area. And you, the, uh, here I gave a number. That's the total count. But what you really need to do is work through either rows or columns let me make sure i've got the, okay sorry i thought i might have uh, not been recording loud enough so then uh, uh i'm gonna make sure we don't go through a infinite loop here so let's just put row number so we can now this is a key and <laughs> i didn't know this before so if we want the number of rows in the selection or number of columns in the selection, we go row number selection dot rows dot count. Never ever done that before. And then we'll so let's just get the minimum of the row number or the column number. All right, and uh, um, then after we do that, let's. Um, um, then I, I, I was just testing this out to make sure I'm really reading it. I somehow made it go to an infinite loop. Now the problem is if you multiply A, A by a thousand or B by a thousand, you get a little bit of a problem. Okay, and uh, so I hate putting this on error. And so I, I also uh, don't want to do this. I probably overdid the function. I probably... Uh, on error would be a, a good enough. So let's put for row equal one to row num and go. No, excuse me. This is column number. And then, so how about we'll put this column. And then let's also do one uh, for row equal one to row num. All right, and then we don't have to do this. And now our test is going to be cells row comma column. And we can uh, put a little stupid, I hate those trapping errors, but because they don't work all the time. That's why I really hate them. And uh, so let's put, then we have row and, and column. Okay, and then uh, now I suppose you could define this 1,000 somewhere else and either divide it or multiply it or anything else. And I'll leave that since uh, I think he, he wanted to just have them multiply by 1,000. So we'll leave that and we'll uh, do this one. And uh, so we've gone around, and hopefully it will work. So let's try this. So let's try putting 100, uh, 200. Now, if it doesn't work, please don't yell at me. I'm not very good at this. Okay, so we make our selection, and then we... Ah, ah it worked. Now, why don't... I'm going to do another one and divide it by 1,000. So I, I let's call this multiply by a thousand, and then let's have another one. Let's divide by a thousand. Okay, and uh, and all we'll do here is exactly the same thing. So I mean, it's kind of like. We should have just multiplied it by 0 0.001 and put a little variable in there, but what the heck. 
okay so we can take our area and now let's assign this one to divide by a thousand okay so we press this I'm all ready to press my shift control so this is uh, divide and let's make another one that's going to be a multiply okay and uh, now um, I uh, so well, of course we've got to assign the macro to it and how about this one let's just divide these two by a thousand and then Shift control R, uh, shift control right arrow, no, shift control R. Okay, and then we can just. Ah, uh, shoot. See, why did it do that? Just a minute. Okay, I need to uh, check this. Okay, I think there's something wrong with the selection. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm going to have to stop the macro again. Damn. Okay, I had a very, very minor error there. I forgot in the maximum and minimum. So that was, that was no real problem. Okay, at least I hope. Now, the final thing I, I wanted to do was to put this into a... Uh, um, uh, I'm going to make, he wanted to put a ribbon, but I think that's overdoing it. So I'm going to put a auto open. And then what we do is we put on key application dot on key. And then we put, how about shift? Uh, That's control, and then M. And then we put the uh, procedure, which is multiply by a thousand, and we can do the same thing. Copy that and put um, divide. And the thing I hate about this sometimes is that when I named it. Okay, sometimes when you do this, it, uh, it implements it in other sheets. So now what we're going to do is uh, um, run that. Let's run that auto open. That's going to open every time you run the, every time you open a new sheet, it should run. So let's see if we do this. So shift control right arrow. Shift Control M. Oh, I've got some stupid calculation here, but okay. Let's. Uh, I, this should maybe work with the manual. Okay, and then Shift Control D. Oops, I can't do that because I have the uh, some shortcut key defined by my uh, Shift Control M. Okay. And uh, I think uh, that's enough for this video. So how about this? I'll put it, if anybody actually wants this, um, I think what I'll do is, is just, uh, uh, I'll put it on my, in the macros section of the, of my 1992 1992, hmm, 1992 uh, website. Okay, so I'll put a little uh, 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 
copy this and we can kind of see what it does multiply macro okay so the place i'm saving this is oh, i think you should get my the google drive if you want to get the google drive it's uh, saved it to courses chapter one uh, excel utilities uh, where's the, the other macros and exercises okay just right there already saved it so i'll replace it okay and that's it why can't i stop the macro oh it's over here hmm.